Hey, it's Candy. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to our Blue Apron box number two. Uh, we are going to make Italian style shrimp and sweet peppers. Uh, here's what it looks like. <laughs> Making sure you guys can see. Um, well, that's weird. I was reading through the um, instructions and it says, if you receive tail on shrimp, remove and discard the tails before cooking. But on there, it shows the tails on. So that's weird. All right. So I've got a pot of water set to boil. And let me show you what was in the bag. Hold on. Boop, 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 boop. All right. So we got shrimp, which I will need to deal with. We got frigola sarda pasta, two green onions, and then sweet peppers. And in the knickknack box, we got capers, red pepper flakes, red wine vinegar, white wine, verjuice blanc. Uh, I think we're gonna deal with the shrimp first. So, I'm gonna grab this cutting board. I'm gonna put some paper towels down on it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, okay, to take the tail off, if you've never done that, if you have, fast forward a few, you just kind of squeeze it. If you grab it at the base of the tail right here, just kind of squeeze, it just comes out really naturally. Now these are de-veined, and if you don't know what that means, it means they've cut the back of the shrimp and took his poop out basically. <laughs> Why do I throw those on the counter? That's very messy. I have to disinfect over there. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands. All right, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a few more potatoes. And just pat these dry. Simple. And then I believe we're gonna salt and pepper them. Let me double check. Season with salt and pepper. Sorry, not sorry, but Johnny's on everything. All right, I'm gonna set that aside. So I'm gonna chop the tops off, chop them in half. Then we're gonna take the seeds and this white part out. the peppers are going to get cut into these kind of half moon shapes. Okay. okay, the water's boiling over here, so I'm going to put the pasta in and it is going to cook for 14 to 16 minutes. 
All right, for the green onions, scallions, whatever you want to call them, I'm going to separate the whites and the greens again. I guess if I really think about it, they do have two distinct flavors, so this sort of makes sense. And then we've got garlic. Okay, everything is ready. So I'm gonna move this over by the stove and we'll get started. Look at how lovely this looks. I just, I impressed myself. <laughs> I'm gonna start a little bit of olive oil in this pan and we're gonna get this shrimp started. Okay, so we've got the oil heated up. shrimp in here. Okay, that was not heated up as, thought it, as much as I thought it was. That sizzle was a little disappointing. That makes me sad. You want these in one layer so they cook evenly or as evenly as possible. Then we're going to add in garlic. and the bottom to the scallion. I'm going to cook that so the peppers get slightly softened. I think I have a pepper dish coming next week too. Oh, I'm supposed to add the capers. And red pepper flakes. This looks really good right now. I'm gonna take a picture of it. Sorry guys. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, the red wine vinegar, which wasn't much at all, and the white wine. Let that cook off a little bit. All right, we're gonna add the pasta in. And then we'll dish it up. All right, let's turn this off. Serve up about half of this on my plate. <laughs> this is Italian style shrimp and sweet peppers. Let's take a bite. Let's take a bite. Hi. All right, I got some of the peppers, a little bit of onion, some pasta. The peppers are really nice. They're a little bit crispy still. Not like crispy, but like they still have a bite to them. The vinegar is okay. Um... Pastas cook good. I might need a little bit more salt. That's my only thing. I might need a little more salt. But other than that, it's really good. Shrimp are cooked nicely. That's a pretty good one. That was really, really easy and really, really fast. Uh, highly recommended. Yeah. 
So we'll do the other two recipes probably tomorrow. Hey guys, it's time to start my next recipe. Beef and mushroom stew. Looks pretty good. So first step is to roast the potatoes and then cut the rest of the vegetables. So I've got the oven at 450 and we'll get everything out. Okay, so what we got for this recipe is grass-fed premium steak tips, cremini mushrooms, celery, scallions, see what's in the knickknack bag. <laughs> There's also two potatoes, two very large red potatoes. Southern Spice Blend, tomato paste, and soy blades. So, whoops, let's start with the potatoes. These are really big red potatoes. So you're just supposed to cut into rounds. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm going to cut a little bit off the bottom so it sits flat. And then cut rounds. So I put them in this pan. I'm going to drizzle them with olive oil and salt and pepper. Okay, so something I did since I've been cooking a lot is I made a salt and pepper blend so that I don't have to get them both out all the time. I'm just gonna toss these, get everything coated. I'll probably salt and pepper them over here. Let's All right, you can see there's a lot of olive oil left in here. All right. Okay, that was a little over a tablespoon. So not too bad. It's not preheated yet. So let's come back over here. While the potatoes roast, thinly slice the mushrooms, medium dice the celery. Wipe this off with a wet paper towel. Cut off the root ends. Side for right now. Oh, you guys have been asking. This knife is by Ozeri. I won it in a raffle <laughs> at my husband's work party one year. Really quickly okay while the potatoes continue to roast pat the beef dry with a paper towel season with salt and pepper in medium pan heat two teaspoons of olive oil until hot 
Add the seasoned beef in an even layer and cook without stirring three to four minutes till lightly brown. Continue to cook, stirring frequently two to three minutes until browned and cooked through. All right, the pan is heated up. And we're gonna get the beef in there. Okay, so we're gonna get a single layer. It's gonna cook three to four minutes. wants you to take the meat out and then cook the vegetables. I'm not a fan of that. I don't think that you need to like separate everything out all the time. So we do that. Add a little more salt and pepper. We're gonna cook until these vegetables soften. And the beef is almost cooked there. You don't want your beef to sit there and get tough either. Oh, this smells yummy. Sorry. I'm really making a conscious effort not to do that. are sufficiently good. Um, I say you can add up to half of the spice blend. So we're going to do that. And we're going to add the tomato paste. Now we're going to add in the soy glaze. Okay. Um, how am I supposed to get this out? To a cup of water, or a cup of water, so we get some There we go. That got out most of it. A little bit more. All right, so this is gonna meld for five to six minutes till this starts getting super thick. You can see it's already getting thick. I'm gonna turn it down. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna let that go for a little bit. All right, you can see that this has thickened up a bit. Whew. And we've got some roasted potatoes. Let's go over here to plating. All right, put roasted potatoes on top and then garnish. Blam, beef and mushroom stew. What do you think? It looks nice, looks nice and hearty. Give me a moment to clean up and then I'll try it. I'll let it cool down a little bit. All right, um, the roasted potatoes are really good, It's but it's just a roasted potato, so. We don't really need to Hmm. I didn't expect it, but that soy glaze really kind of knocks down that tomato paste cuz I'm not a huge fan of like tomato-based stews. Um just feel like sometimes they get a little acidic. But that soy glaze kind of mixed in there. It was really nice. Yeah. Next time, if I were to make this, I would just cut up the potatoes and put them in it. Just a little bit easier. Um, I might add some peas. Mm, maybe some onion. But other than that, it's really, really good. It's, it is something that I would like put together again. Um, yeah. I wonder what that soy glaze is called in the store. I wonder if it's called soy glaze. I haven't looked. Do any of you guys know? Hmm. This is good. All right, guys. On to the next. Good morning. 6.30 a.m. Candy is back. <laughs> And I need to cook something to take to work with me. And so I have this left, red quinoa and roasted vegetable salad. Um, I'm starting with a pot of water over here to boil the eggs. I only have one small pot, so I'm gonna have to boil the eggs, take those out and then make the quinoa. That's awesome. So what came in the package is cage-free eggs, fennel, sweet peppers, quinoa, dates, some feta cheese, pickled shallots, um, sliced almonds, and a pepperoncini. That's it. So I'm gonna boil the eggs and then I'm gonna start the quinoa and I'll show you guys that I'm slicing the vegetables. Okay, so I've never worked with fennel before, but I know this is a fennel bulb. Um, it says to cut it lengthwise and take the core out. So I'm going to assume this part is the core. Oh, that seems really hard, so that makes sense. Let's do that on this side too.
I don't know if the cord goes all the way up. Well, we'll see. <laughs> I'm just going to thinly slice, or as thinly as I'm going to do. Y'all see? Are you supposed to eat all of this? This seems like, this is like, um, a celery consistency, but maybe even a little harder than celery. Okay, now we're going to do the sweet peppers, which I have come to love thanks to this box. I even bought some at the grocery store the other day so I could make some stuff with them. So good. Um, I've found a love of uh, red and orange and yellow bell peppers from these boxes. I figured out that I just didn't like the green ones. And it's, it's super cool to like discover foods that you didn't think you liked. You're just supposed to quarter these. Um, food you didn't think you liked and you rediscover them in a different way and there you go. All right, so there's our roasted vegetables. I'm going to toss these with some olive oil, salt and pepper, put them in the oven to bake. Uh, let's see, 17 to 19 minutes at 450. All right, so apparently I forgot to push record or something. So let's go over what I've done. This is the pickled shallot. I have chopped it up. I have <laughs> took the eggs out of the water and put them into cold water to stop the cooking process. The vegetables are in the oven and I have some salted water on to boil for the quinoa and I have rinsed the quinoa. This is a pepperoncini and the shallot. I need to pit and chop the dates. Ugh. I've never dealt with a date before. Oh. Okay, that wasn't that was a terrible joke. All right. So there's that. We're also going to use this orange for the salad dressing, but I'm going to go check my phone and I'll be back. Okay, next on the dressing agenda, we take this orange and we cut it in half and squeeze the juice into a medium bowl and slowly whisk in a tablespoon of olive oil. So I'm going to roll it a little bit, get the juices going. Cut it in half. Squeeze out as much juice as possible without making a mess. I couldn't tell you the last time I ate an orange. I used to love oranges. Hmm. Then I found out how much sugar was in orange juice and I was like, yeah, no. So, I don't have a smaller whisk. Someone the other day was like, you need a smaller whisk. Sorry, this is the whisk I have. Okay, so your whisk those two together. And then... Stir in the chopped shallot, the dates, the pepperoncini, season with salt and pepper. There we go. Probably not going to add salt and pepper. Maybe a little bit. So there's the dressing. So we have the cooked quinoa. Okay. Let's go up a little bit.
So we're going to add in the roasted veg. And why are you making this difficult for yourself? Why are you making it difficult? Boom. This is why we need parchment paper. Okay. Finish the quinoa and serve your dish. To the pot of cooked quinoa, add the roasted vegetables, almonds, and cheese, dressing, and a drizzle of olive oil, stir to combine, season with salt and pepper. My camera hates me today, you guys. Okay, so I put the roasted vegetables in with the quinoa, and the almonds, and I crumbled the feta. And now, let me rub my fingers. We're gonna add the dressing in. Okay, here's the finished product. I'm not sure what you guys got. My camera keeps shutting off. I don't know what's going on. The quinoa is in there. I rinsed it, put it back in the pot. I added the roasted vegetables, and then I added the sliced almonds, crumbled up the feta in there, put the dressing in, mixed it all together, put it in the bowl, and put the egg on top. There we go. Okay, let's give us a try. Mm. Hmm. It's interesting. No, I don't like it. <laughs> the peppers are good. The fennel's okay. Um Let me get a piece of date. The dates are a little sweet, which is weird because everything else is super savory. This is not my favorite. I would not make this again. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> All right, so that is the end of the second Blue Apron box. What can I say about Blue Apron? I thought most of the recipes were really good. I enjoyed them. Um, I will say that the portions were fairly small. Um, some days I had to add a salad or something to kind of be full from everything. So that was my only complaint really. Yeah. So uh, next we are going to try Martha and Marley Spoon. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!